up everybody uh, it's video number two you've seen my first video so you make sure make sure that you uh, watch that the intro video for my journey into CCIE if you're thinking of studying for the CCIE routing switching it is also applicable for any certification that you think of getting regardless if it's like Cisco or Microsoft or Juniper or Brocade or whatever so I think tip number one would be first make sure that your family regardless if that's your spouse um, your girlfriend your boyfriend or partner is on board with this one because I remember when I started off with this whole certification journey uh, I did not well when I started off my CCNA uh, I was still a student so that was fine with my wife but I, then when I started getting like other certs like the CCMP and the Brocade and the VMware uh, especially now especially when I started with the CCIE that's when I got into trouble with my wife because now she feels like I'm not spending too much time with her and I got into a lot of trouble with that and a lot of yeah so make sure that they're on board with it just try to explain what it entails especially with the CCIE where it would involve a lot of studying there would be times where in your 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 special your partner or your special somebody would would want you to be somewhere or they want to spend time with you but um, you have to study uh, you have to make that commitment uh, because we all know that consistency is is king tip number two is the CCIE is it's going to be a battle of your inner self it's going to be a battle of the mind there were there are days wherein I feel like um, if you go to my blog, the running config or runningconfig.com, I list there was a blog post there where I just listed down like some random thoughts while I was going, while I'm in the middle of studying or before I study or while I'm doing a lab. Um, you're gonna start questioning yourself like, am I really good enough? Am I, um, is it really worth it? Uh, I'm, I've, I've been spending so much time and money and resources is it all worth it um, or you'll be distracted so there's like a lot of things that's gonna go in your mind well that was my experience and I'm sure I share this with other guys out there who's going through the same journey as I am um, and also those guys have already passed and got their CCIE uh, yeah so it's it's a battle of the mind and you just have to control it and not let it control you number three is it's going to cost you time um, yes <laughs> it is true if you've been reading blogs of people who have gone through the CCIE or it's weird like I've listened to a lot of pad podcasts uh, router gods and they've interviewed like a lot of CCIEs and they've been saying that if I get to do this um, again I would spend less time studying or I would, I would have been more relaxed but I don't know anybody actually who did pass their CCIE attempts and these are coming from guys who have taken they failed like their first or second attempt and I haven't met anybody actually from any blog or personally um, I, I have two friends who are like CCIE and both of them they have not pa passed their CCIE on their first attempt and they've been like really grinding it hard it, it will take a lot of your time uh, there's I, I've already missed a lot of events a lot of functions a lot of invitations sometimes even though if I have even if we have visitors in the house I would probably join them during lunch 
but after lunch I would have to excuse myself and get myself in my lab and just and just started labbing and studying watching videos because um, my time is limited final tip because I want to make this short probably I'll make another another video once it's gonna it will cost you resources taking the CCIE or deciding to take the CCIE journey it's not cheap aside from time um, I don't know anybody who actually didn't spend a dime uh, I think in any certification uh, unless you downloaded your your materials illegally um, so I spent so I bought uh, the the INE ultimate package that included the videos uh, the workbooks and the tokens and that's like in Australian dollars that's like two grand almost or more than it depends on the exchange rate um, so I used to have like CBT nuggets uh, I do have that subscription well that was before I don't have them anymore uh, because I think the INE is enough um, if I have kept my CBT that that's also a possibility of me being getting distracted and trying to study other other videos instead or other other tracks but so anyway uh, those are like my four tips for now anyway guys that's it for now again uh, make sure that your family's on board with it second is um, it's a battle of the mind so no matter how difficult it can be uh, you just have to keep on doing it no matter what third is just be sure that just be aware that it's gonna cost you time and money and I hope that helps um, again this is Dylan I hope this has been informative for you and I'll see you in the next video